This is the uh, pump house, or two electric pumps that uh, lift water above the uh, dam to power both the sawmill and the gristmill. This is water from a pump uh, replenishing the uh, head pond. It's 21 feet diameter, 48 buckets. Each bucket contains five gallons. Us, we run them one gallon to get our 30 strokes a minute. If you put five gallons, it would go 150 strokes. Wow. Which developed 13 horsepower, 150 strokes. 13 horsepower? Yeah. And the turbine on the other side, him, he developed 26 horsepower. So the wheel is 16 feet in diameter. And it's got 240 teeth. Okay. Made of wood. You and know what kind of wood they're made? The oak. Oak, great. And also the trendle, 20 trendle okay. of wood. So it's wood on wood pressing on this. Okay. And after that you get a shaft. Right. A pit one arm holding your saw going up and down. Yeah, it's driven. It's and made from birch. Birch or oak. And it wears out and you replace those. Yeah, yeah, you do. I have to replace about 16 of them each year. They break off more than else. The teeth on the cogwheel here, I break about 9 or 10 a year. Because they do break. And maybe makes a nice picture when I'm here so you can see the difference. I For less of a break, less more of a moist to the teeth. Because all of that would be dry wood, we're breaking too. So that's why we'll put more. And right now we need to redo the cog. You see all the teeth on that? Yes. Yeah, it has to be in the same spot and then up. So that's why we have problem here. Okay. But this one is 42 years old, so. And a mm -hmm. mill like this lasts 20, 25 years. <laughs> We're opening the gate to let water into the mill. That's where the logs come in. here for controlling the speed of the water wheel right here because right now if this is not here the water goes all over the bucket instead of going on the tip and it wants to go on the tip to have a smooth speed on the rope, no tension, nothing. So that's what they call a tension gear. So the more turn you do, the more it's gonna turn by itself. What makes this one special, this mill, is the water wheel, cog wheel, trying to get pit one arm, wood on wood everywhere. So that's what makes this sawmill special compared to the other mill you could see everywhere you can. Here's a view of the mill running. an oak uh, gear tooth. It's about uh, five inches uh, wide and about uh, two and a quarter inches uh, thick and about 16 inches in length. So the first sawmill in existence in North America, mainly in the States, was in Maine in 1623 near Kennebec River. First sawmill with a water wheel like this sawmill. Over here, right here. 
onto the carriage here, there's a big shaft in the spindle, that up that tension here. That first rule is wrong up because it's starting to go. One and one, and it goes faster. Nothing as fast as it's going to get. 